Proverbs 19, verse 15, the Bible reads, Slothfulness casteth into a deep sleep, and an idle soul shall suffer hunger. So, again, we're, we're, we're going to be focusing in more now on the slothful and the lazy, and you have to watch out for this. And again, I think it's kind of timely. One of the reasons why I'm preaching this this evening is because there may be a lot of people who are either still currently unemployed, not working because of the whole coronavirus thing, or maybe temporarily furloughed or whatever. But it's easy to get into slothfulness, laziness. Well, I can't do anything. I can't go anywhere and just kind of and find, up, find yourself taking naps, right? Cast it into a deep sleep and to the point to where, you know, if you allow that to creep into your life, um, it can cause you to become idle and, and kind of play on itself. Now, look, I'm not saying if you've ever taken a nap, you're just like a, a bad person or something, right? It's, I see some people smile and they're like, that's, that's not what I'm talking about. There's a difference between being really tired and worn out because you've worked, right? Or maybe because you've been up all night because you're, you know, you've got little kids or whatever. That's still, I would consider that working as opposed to just being really lazy, not doing anything, and just sleeping. The Bible says, slothfulness casteth into a deep sleep, and an idle soul shall suffer hunger. It's going to cause you not to, I mean, if you're, if you're just sleeping and not doing anything, well, you need to work in order to eat. It's just the way of the world. That's just the way things work. Uh, jump down to verse number 24. The Bible says, A slothful man hideth his hand in his bosom and will not so much as bring it to his mouth again. It's like, oh, man, this is just too hard. You picture the guy, like, eating potato chips off his chest, you know, trying to watch church. He's like, man, I can't even lift another chip to my mouth, right? This is, this is what's being described here as a slothful man, just some lazy slug that does nothing. Now, don't let yourself even get close to being in a condition like that. It's going to be, one, it's going to be bad for your health. Your body's going to suffer for it. And it becomes a downward spiral. The more unhealthy people get and the more sleep you get, the more you're going to feel like you need to get more sleep. And it just, it kind of has a really bad impact. So you need to be diligent to make sure you don't fall into this, these bad habits and bad routine to where you get to the point where like the slothful man is like, man, I'm not even going to bring my hand to my, that's just too much. Flip over to chapter 21, Proverbs 21. Very interesting passage here about the slothful man as well. And very, very important point here in Proverbs 21. Look at verse number 25. The Bible reads, The desire of the slothful killeth him, for his hands refuse to labor. Now, we're going to get the more of the meaning on, well, why, why would just his desire kill him, right? Well, the slothful man has a desire, but they're not going to get their desire of what they want because their hands refuse to, I refuse to work. Well, I'm not going to go do that. It's like you want, you know, this is part of that entitlement attitude too. Of people saying, well, you know, you should just pay me a paycheck. And well, I'm not going to do that. And people just, just not willing to work, not willing to do anything, but expect to be given things or want things. So what the Bible is saying here is that the desire of the slothful, a slothful person is someone who's not willing to go out and work for what they want. They're not willing to go out and invest in it and work hard. They're saying no, but the desire is going to kill them. Why? Well, look at the next verse. It says, he coveteth greedily all the day long, but the righteous giveth and spareth not. So... The desire that's in a slothful person or not willing to work for it, that turns into covetousness. Because if you're eyeing things and you want things that you can't have, and the reason why you can't have it is because, well, you don't have enough money for it. You can't pay for it. And the reason why is because you're not willing to work for it. Now, when you start desiring things, that becomes sin. And covetousness is a really bad sin. It says, he coveteth greedily all the day long. The Bible says that the love of money is the root of all evil. And that, you know, when you get involved in that, that you're going to be pierced through 
with sorrows, as a snare, and, and you know, it's going to destroy you. So because, you know, the slothful person has these desires, it, it's covetous, and that is going to destroy them. That is why the desire of the slothful killeth him.